welcome. Today I'm going to share with you my recipe for tuna puffs. And we're going to do this recipe in two parts. For this, the first part we're going to make the shoe pastry, which will be the puff. And then the second part will be the tuna puff, the tuna paste filling. And for this recipe I'm going to call out a list of ingredients, but I'll leave the correct measurements down below in the description box. I have flour, butter, eggs, water, salt, some additional water that when we pipe the pastry dough out we want to touch the tip of it to make sure that tip doesn't burn and I have one egg here with some water to create an egg wash my silicone mat and my baking tree I also have my piping bag that I'm going to use to pipe my puffs on if you don't have a piping bag you can use a um, ziploc bag and just cut the end or the corner off so you can create those puffs so let's get started on putting this together so we're going to start off by adding one cup of water to a pan, a saucepan, whatever you want to put it in. And I like using this non-stick frying pan. To me, I think it's easier. To the water in your pan, add in your half a cup or eight tablespoons of unsalted butter. And you're going to allow the butter to melt in here before we move on. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt in here. And if you're making this pat of choux pastry or choux pastry for eclairs or any dessert that's sweet, you would use sugar in this. But because I'm making a savory, um, a savory dish today, I'm just putting the salt. Once your butter has melted, go ahead and add in your one cup of flour. And mix to incorporate. So once your dough comes together, I'll say just cook this for like about a minute or less. Okay, so this is good. Now, sometimes you can get a tin film at the bottom of your pan and you'll know your dough is ready. But with this pan that I use, I don't get that tin film. So, once it comes together like this, I know that my dough is ready. So, what you do now is you take this off your heat. So, I am actually going to transfer my dough to my mixing bowl and let it cool because I'm going to use my KitchenAid mixer, you can use whatever mixer you have, to help me incorporate the four eggs in here. Once your dough has cooled down, you're going to go ahead and add in your eggs one at a time. And let it mix and combine thoroughly, so that flour must totally absorb that egg. Now, if you don't have a stand mixer, you can probably use a hand mixer or you can just use a spatula or a spoon. Okay, so this is finished. I'm just going to check it. And it has a nice soft consistency and that's what you want so I'm using a silicone mat and if you don't have one you can just use parchment paper and you put a little bit of oil at the bottom four corners and it will hold down your parchment paper for you so these you can make them how big or how small you want. I like them medium sized. So I'm going to pipe mine out. And you see that tip? We're going to take the egg wash or you can take some water and touch the tip because you don't want that tip to remain up. It's going to burn if you do. So we'll do that when I'm finished piping out my pastry. 
So if I didn't mention before, my oven is preheating at 350 degrees. So now you're going to take your egg wash and you're going to put it put it on your pastry do and be careful you just want to slightly touch down on that tip so that it wouldn't burn when you put it into the oven okay now this goes into my preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes until they're puffed up they're golden brown and they're cooked all the way through okay now to make a tuna filling for the puffs and here I have two tins of tuna in water which is a chunk light tuna you want to get the light one because it's nice and fine it's not that big chunky piece that you get in the tin and the other ingredients are some celery salt chopped parsley or celery scallion lime pepper and I'm using my lemon lime pepper because I want the kick of the pepper and the lime is going to cut the freshness of the fish if you don't have the lemon lime pepper, you can just squeeze a half of a lemon in here, two tablespoons of mayo, and salt and black pepper to taste. Now let's go ahead and put everything into our fish. Mix everything to combine. So this is ready. All we're waiting to do now well I'm actually I'm gonna taste this adjust it for salt and then we're gonna wait for our puffs to finish and then once they're finished and they're cool we'll go ahead on to filling them so my puffs just came out of the oven they actually took 30 minutes exactly and I just want to leave them to cool a little I so now that my puffs have cooled I just want to take one and cut it open and show you guys what it's supposed to look like on the inside and you can see how hollow that is that's what you want when you make a puff so my puffs have cooled down quite a bit and I want to go ahead and show you all how to fill them so you take your puff and you either make an X at the bottom if you're filling them from the bottom or you can slice them open and fill them that way so I'm going to fill them from the bottom so you put in your piping bag with your filling and you just squeeze the amount that you would like in there so here you have it my tuna puffs recipe this is what it looks like it's hollow on the inside so that you can fill it with your tuna and I fill this one from from the middle the rest of them I filled from the bottom so you can fill it whichever way you prefer so I'd like to thank you all for joining me in the kitchen today I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe Make it and let me know down below if you like it. Send photos to me if you do make it. And tell me if you did anything differently. Thank you all and I'll see you all in another one of my videos. Enjoy!